everyone, that was a bloody good win, wasn't it? I don't know why we're quite running that way, but that was flipping awesome to claim the victory that we claimed there in Nara. And it was a couple of days ago, I had intended, and you'll have to excuse me for this, I had intended, let's actually run to wherever we're going to run to while I, while I talk to you here. I think... On the whole, we should probably be looking to launch something of a counter-attack now. Considering there's so many Nords now in our prison, I think a counter-attack would be a good idea. And I'm going to say a Hun Castle may be very much a target for it. But anyway, as I was saying, yes... I feel like I sort of start a lot of videos like this, but sorry it's been so long since the last episode came out. I've just been so busy. Oh, have they now? Yeah, I'm in the... I just got back from a... Uh, what was this? This was my fifth? 11 hour shift in a row and I've got three more to go before I have a day off but that's okay we're finding time for a little bit of mountain blade here and it's about to get a whole lot more confusing should we look at Rindyar castle there's there's this is going to complicate our counter-attack to be honest um I don't feel like Uxkang's in any danger we have recruiters running out looking for people to come back and help the Nara garrison and there is Count Montewar there we won't have a war with Count Montewar we'll have a look at Hun Castle because there are four Nords in our jail there and I can't even remember I can't even remember but there are some Nords and I think Sultan Hakim and Sanjar Khan are both in prison there maybe we're going to win the game just by having every single Lord in our dungeon who knows but right now uh, I've lost us on the map here we are Hun Castle 122 I'm looking for high level units. I'm seeing 14 veterans and 15 archers and 35 warriors. So it's not a very weak garrison, but it's not, you know, that strong a garrison either. It could be a good one just to grab. A good little smash and grab. And then we've sort of got Halmar a little bit surrounded. If we could then take Reindy Castle from the Swadians, you never know. That might all just go a bit well. And then we really do have Halmar isolated and we've sort of then connected our two mini kingdoms here. I think starting with a Hun Castle could go very well. Now I might just camp for a day because we just recruited a couple of Aegis and a couple of whoever else is and what's it and it may be wise of us just to give ourselves a day to get them at least one rank. Oh, oh, a bit of lemon infused water there. That was quite nice that I just had a swig of. 10 grand a turn still. Is fantastic. We're really going to look. We'll, we'll start the siege towers in the morning, guys. There's lots of wood around. Let's have an evening off, shall we? Man. Man, the, the night hardly went. The, the man was. Uh, sorry, Lily, what am I saying? The night was very, very quick there. We must be approaching summer. But it's only March. That's a weird one. Anyway, Vega footmen are better than Vega recruits. They'll do for now. And um, we want to take veterans to defend our archer line, really. And then they go into infantry eventually, don't they? Right, I think our 125 stand a pretty good chance of against their 122. Let's besiege the castle and build a siege tower. Now, my thought about doing this is there's now not going to be as many Nords to sort of chase this away. You know, we have that problem with Keldon Castle. We half build siege towers and then we get chased away. But, oh, Lord Gamwana. Wow, oh, because he's been bloody... Defeated in battle, and apparently that's our fault, I imagine. I don't know why that's the case. But with these short nights, that's probably going to aid us in our lookouts building this here siege tower. Although someone looks like they might want to start on us. Not sure right there. Not sure. Nizar's advanced to level 10. That's very, very good for Nizar. We do still have 11 prisoners there. Yeah. Oh, um, no, we can't let anyone out just yet. We can't let anyone out just yet. I'm very sorry, everyone. Oh, Nizar, not now, mate. Not bloody now, you silly fella. God, he's ridiculous, isn't he? He, he just wants all the money in the world. Right, we actually managed to build a siege tower. Super stuff. A Hun Castle. This is the beginning of the fall of Halmar here. Taking this strategically placed castle. Let's do it. Okay, um, have we actually had a fight at Ahun Castle yet? If we do, I don't really remember the terrain. Oh, but it looks a bit familiar. Um, if we had our, let's say, arch, we don't really need the flag. But if we had our archers on this hill, they'd probably do quite well. Let's put them here. And let's put our missile cavalry. Maybe they can just go there. Everyone else can start getting forward. Not really much in the way of battlements for these fellas, is there? 
I've got to say, I've seen better. I've seen better castles. I definitely think we've uh, we've attacked this one before. I'm recognising it. It's very um, it's very thin at the top, isn't it? And there's not really a lot of ways to go around. But we seem to be starting this one pretty well. And is anyone going to comment on that headshot that I made? I see, I see, I'm unable to replicate it. But um, yeah, that was a good, a good little way to start the fight. We, it seems to be going very well. That siege tower is still quite a distance away, though. But I'm sure we'll get it eventually. That's a good hit. He thinks he's moving out of the way. He will be sorely mistaken. That was a bit of an overshot, though. Are we getting hit? I, th I think we took a little damage. We received one damage, but we have HP of a hell of a lot more than one, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Also, thanks to your generous comments in the last video, I know how to actually make my name King Randomus the Second the First. So we'll do that as soon as we're back on the campaign screen. But right now, we're doing very, very, very well. It's certainly been swinging in our favour. And I think we're going to have a very good chance once we get onto the battlements. You know, we've, we've been knocking loads of them out. This is excellent. This is bloody excellent. Blooming fantastic work by our archers. That's what you need from them. I mean, that's... I mean... That's what happens when you have, you know, so many of them and they're all the top tier. This is just excellent, isn't it? Right, anyway, a couple of people are a little bit brave. A few others seem inclined just to stand back. But I guess everyone's just got bows and arrows here. And everyone else being quite smart in, you know, keeping behind that hill, which is pretty, pretty clever. Oh, but there's that guy who's been... Uh, oh, oh, it's Rolf. For God's sake, Rolf, what have you been doing there, mate? What a silly performance on your part, eh? What a silly performance. Right, we seem to be getting up there. Are we ready with swords out, lads? I forgot we'd uh, got that plate of steel. I think we look pretty reasonably not silly right now. I dare say people will disagree with me. Is anyone going to join me on this one, fellas? Not going to take this castle by myself. A little worried that I'm just going to get absolutely beat up here getting across the battlements first. I'm gonna tr oh bloody heck! I'm gonna try and fight one at a time. It's a little complicated on here, to be honest. Whoa! Ah, brilliant. Nordus Carl, come on, we'll break the line together, sir. I'll tell you what; these fellas' shields are a bit are a bit big, aren't they? There we go. I think we're breaking a couple there. Okay. And here I am getting myself a bit surrounded. Oh bloody heck! Bloody heck, this is one of those ones where I've been too cocky and I'm going to get myself killed, isn't it? Not likely. We just need these guys to bloody get rid of their shields. And if they want to fight me one at a time, then I'll take that. I'll certainly take that. It's okay, man. We're clearing up here. We're clearing up here. Lovely. That's half the castle done by ourselves. Maybe we haven't done a Hun castle because this isn't what I thought I was going to remember. Who knows? Who knows? But this guy won't have seen us coming. There we go. Excellent work. Where are the stairs? Because I think there's still a few of them up there. And I don't think the stairs are this way, which means we're pretty much just basically casting for the rest of the fight. We've got five arrows left. We can make use of them. There's one use. There's two uses. There's three uses. That's pretty good. There's four uses. We'll go for one up there, shall we? There's five uses. That wasn't at all bad. But yeah, maybe we should have broke into the other direction. But we cleared this side by ourselves. We've done excellent work. Don't remember telling the archers to uh, come up. We kind of need those fellas heading back, really, if we're being honest. Maybe when the drawbridge goes down, everyone just charges. Which is a bit annoying. Right, is there any throwing things I can throw up there at anyone? That's probably going to be what I'm looking for right now. Not seeing any, to be honest. We're certainly not backing through there. But yeah, we need our archers back over there so they can shoot. There are arrows here and crossbow bolts. Can I pick any of them up? Uh, certainly can't pick up a crossbow bolt. Can't. Oh, no, I did get an arrow. I did get an arrow. Oh, I've got two arrows. Hey, we can kill two people with those two arrows. You know, or we can't. You know, not not doing that's cool as well. You know what? I'm just going to have me some leg, uh, some lemon juice. I'm going to sit back. Oh, God, I spilt lemon juice down myself because the glass was too full. Because I was trying to sit back and put my feet up and relax at the same time. And it all went a bit wrong. But it looks like 
that's the only bad news of the day. I did see barbed arrows ready to be picked up somewhere. Oh, no, what I've got now is a, a sword. And I, I think I put my arrows down. Right, it's all it's all getting a bit... No, now I've got a big mace. That's, that's fine too, you know. It's nice to try out different things. But if any of our fellas could just, you know, work out how stairs work, then we might... Oh, there we go. There we go. Wait, is there a guy there? Is there a guy there? Good job, fellas. Hello. Have I got my big sword? That'll do me. Did no... Did no one think to, uh... Yeah, our lads can finish him. Did no one really think to try the other staircase? We could have been up here a hell of a lot quicker. Are you the last, sir? No, you're not. Are any of these fellas the last? Well, they seem like they've not really noticed us, so they're not going to last that long. Excellent work, boys! Excellent work. Okay, that begins the fall of Nara, ladies and gentlemen. We went, we, oh, God, we lost 14. I thought we didn't lose as many as that. To be honest, only losing 14 isn't at all bad. But, um, yeah, right. Let's take Vega Infantry and Vega Nine Vega Veterans. Let's do a couple of skirmishes in there for good measure. Because I'm not... I didn't really look at who we lost there. It might have been some archers. I definitely saw that we lost the Kurgit Horsemen. We'll have to have a look at the, um... We'll have to have a... Oh, yeah, we could probably need some more diverse food. But, hey, man, there we go. So, we've taken a Hoon Castle. To who do you wish to award it? Um... Honestly, I'd rather keep it and try and persuade someone to come to us. Right, Hun Castle has fallen to your troops and you will now have full control of the castle. You can plunder the spoils of war. Oh, can we? You may station troops here to defend against enemies or you may try to recapture it. But I uh, I thought we were capturing it. Also, you should select whether you will hold the castle for yourself. Yeah, we just, we just did that. Well, um... Don't really feel like plundering it at all, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, man. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll just stick it there for a minute. Right. Now, what we need to do is try... Oh, it's so annoying that we have to go back to Uxcal to, you know, send send someone over to try and persuade the Lord. You know, Uhun Castle's a nice castle. Someone's going to probably want that, right? And it does have a little bit of a garrison, as a matter of fact. Um, so we can probably run away. But if we can get Riendi Castle on the way... And the fall of Halmar really will be going well. And there's John Allagher. Don't he's he's gonna be quite opportunistic there, isn't he? We can probably if we can try and catch him before he gets here, it's gonna be close. Are we gonna get him? Oh I think we got him! We got him! Oh joyous! Okay. Well we're gonna have to knock him out. We're gonna have to knock him out because he's just gonna take that castle right back. Otherwise, right, everyone hold there. Let's get our cavalry dudes over there. Let's get our other cavalry dudes over there. We know the drill by now, lads, right? At least we bloody well should. And everyone get there where they need to go. And we'll have our missile cavalry actually go miles that way. Good stuff. And we can actually have a look now because all our people are going to be spread out at who we really... Oh, do we see them already? Oh, there they are. Oh, super. Is that really our infantry line? Me thinks we need some more. I know we've probably got some people wounded, but that's that's not really enough, is it? Right, so there's our heavy cavalry. Our missile cavalry are going miles away. That's good. Light cavalry on the other side. How big's their party looking? Again, a bit small. I think we need a bit of everything, to be fair. Our missile line seems to be pretty good, but everything else we're going to need a bit of. Oh, yeah, this guy's a uh, Kurgit, isn't he? Right, well, let's get charging into him then, shall we? Let's get the lance out. Let's get people killed. Okay, right. Everyone that should be charging, I believe now, is charging. And we have our Vega infantry that should be protecting our missile line to a point. I'm not quite sure how evenly dispersed they're going to be. Ow! We need to get ourselves a kill and get a bit of a flavour for this battle, if I'm honest. Let's get our lance nice and couched. And let's... Well, we killed a horse. Not really what I was aiming for, but we killed a horse. Right, this guy will do nicely. No, nope, we've missed. Okay, who else is going to do nicely? Uh, ow. This guy, one of these fellas will do the job. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. We, we got him. 
Okay, yeah, man. We need a bigger infantry line to defend our archers. That's what we need to recruit. A ton of Rodox, I would think. that That's really just the area that we actually can recruit in now is Rodox. So, I think in all honesty, we're probably going to take every single available slot to us. And it's going to be Rodox that fill it. And they're all going to hopefully become Rodox sergeants before long. But... Man, we need we need to make some peace with some people. The Saranids did want peace at a time. We tried to be a bit greedy with them. It didn't really work out. But, you know, maybe we'll get another request soon. I've no need to be at war with them. Certainly knocking Jarl Alagur out was a necessity. We lost only one in the process. And we have to do it all over again, for goodness sake. Well, we'll just go and do this right now. I think I see them already. They're down there. Let's get some arrows over there. You never know if a lucky arrow might strike. I don't think so. We'll just get our lance nice and couched, nice and early. Who's that absolute madman? Pick someone off on the edge. Like this fella, for example. A veteran horse archer, and he's dead. We'll maybe just recruit some more for our missile cavalry. Uh, but I think we're probably going to need to head over to Uxcal via Riendi Carson now. Yeah. Yeah, we need more lords. That's still the, you know, the big, the big priority is just getting more lords. And, well, Jeremus upgrading. I think we had someone else. Nizar upgraded a minute ago as well, didn't he? And we forgot to do anything for him. That was a good win. That was a very, very good win. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. Well, not lovely. It would have been much better for him to be captured. But still, we'll take Vega Infantry. Oh, there's another level. Vega Guard. And Beheshta upgraded as well. And Jeremus. Three upgrades to be done here. So, our Vega guards, I mean, it's. The, I think it's the best we can do, really. I did not mean to release that fella. I do apologise, sir. I meant to move you down. I think it's the best we can do, but yeah, our infantry line, not big. Missile cavalry, not big. I think they're the two areas to improve, you know. We've got 17 there. We've got 20 there. I think. I think that's where we need to start looking at right now. Do we even need to bother feeding these fellas? I don't really think we do. They can all be released and, you know, maybe they'll go back to their families and talk about how King Grandimus II and the first, And how, you know, talk about how fair a guy he is and how, you know, maybe we should all think about supporting his claim to the throne of Calradia. That could be something. Right. Anyway, character. I believe I can change it. Um... Oh, have I killed four friendly troops? I've wounded four and I've killed many. I tell you what, though, that's not a bad kill death count, isn't it? That's very good. Um, oh, no, I can change it. There we are. King Randomus. The second, the first. There we go. Because we're not King Randomus the second, because there was never a King Randomus the first, but we're Randomus the second. That's our name. So we are King Randomus the second, the first. Lovely. That's very good. That's very good. Oh, oh, has it? Count Montawar, I thought I thought we were bros. Well, at least that looks like a recruiter getting back successfully. We might just want to accompany them in to make sure, because they do still have a little bit of a way to go, but I think they're going to make it, and I think we do need to chase Count Montawar all the way. Oh, the Kingdom of Nords want peace. I'm going to accept that right now. Um... Yeah. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. That leaves us able to concentrate on Swadia. Our target will still eventually be Halmar. But before we attack Halmar, we need Riendi Castle. So we can be at peace for a while. You know, it gives us a chance to get some recruiting done. We can actually go and recruit a load of Nord Huskarls now, which is going to be very good. Count Montawar. So you like to hunt Castle, did you, mate? Well, you can have it without bloodshed if you want. Um... I do not like to conduct my business in the shadows, but sometimes it must be done. What do you have to say? Now, he did. He likes us, but he does like his king as well. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Kingship and lordship has been instituted to keep peace and prevent war against... Of all against... Oh, yes, yes, yes. But in lost mind, there's a possibility of injustice, which I want to invite you to my kingdom. But it doesn't look like I'm even going to have an option. So I'm going to say goodbye to you. Or should we attack? Hmm. Very, very, very happy to have 
made peace with the Nords. It's very useful because if we can just go and take Riendi Castle, then you never know. But what are we doing letting this guy get away? He's only going to go back to us. That was a silly thought. I'm going to let him get out of the forest first because I prefer fighting outside the forest. Lord I am, you need more than 22 men, mate, if I'm going to be honest. Well, King Randomus II, the first, what is your bidding? I don't want to do it. You're my best friend in the kingdom, but you won't. I want to invite you. I want to invite you over to my team, man. I don't want to have to fight you. But I can't have you, you know, scheming around here. I can't let you go. Oh, this is the hardship of war, isn't it? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry, Count Montawar, but we're going to have to do this. 102 fit for fighting. It seems to be a pretty reasonable piece of terrain for us. I'm going to have our cavalry go as far that way as they can go, and our other cavalry go as far that way as they can go. We're going to be facing some knights here. 